Hello everyone, this is Roger. In this video, we will go through basic entities creation in CWCAT, in which I will introduce units, layer properties manager, draw commands. First of all, I will introduce units in CWCAT. Units displays the measurement units and values of each selected object. It is important to set up your units each time before you start a new drawing. Drawing units provides three modules of settings, which are length time, angle time, and insertion scale. There is Layer Properties Manager, where you can create or delete layers, manage the properties of a layer. Layers are the primary method for organizing the objects in a drawing by function or purpose. You can manage the layer information through Layer Properties Manager to reduce your visual complexity. Let's open CWCAD to take a look at these settings. Before we begin, let's set up units for this drawing. You can open units through the CWCAD icon on the top left corner and find Drawing Utilities. Or you can click Format on the menu and find Units. Or you can input shortcut key UN to open units. In the Drawing Units, we can set the unit mode in length from the drop-down menu under Type. The length unit is set to decimal by default, and you can change the position from the drop-down menu to set the number of decimal places. We can also set the unit mode for angle from the top right drop-down menu. The type for angle is set to decimal decreases by default, and we can set the units for insertion scale from the drop-down menu below. Next, let's talk about the Layer Properties Manager. You can open Layer Properties Manager for Format on the menu, then find Layer, or in the Home tab on the ribbon. Or you can input shortcut key LA to open Layer Properties Manager. In Layer Properties Manager, you can click New Layer on the top to create new layers. And you can click Delete Layer to delete selected layer. You can click Set Current to activate selected layer as current layer, or you can double-click the layer to activate the layer. Objects will be drawn in current activated layer only. If you want to switch layer for existing object, you can select the object, then go to the drop-down menu for layer properties on the ribbon and select a new layer, or go to the properties panel of the object and switch layer from the drop-down menu of layer. In Layer Properties Manager, you can change color for all the objects under this layer, and you can change the light type for the objects under this layer too. You can lock the layer so the objects under the locked layer will be locked to prevent modification, or you can turn off the layer to hide all the objects under that layer. In CWCAD, you can use draw commands to draw the basic entities that make up the drawings, such as line, circle, rectangle. Draw commands can be activated through menu, ribbon, toolbars, or shortcut keys. There is multi-line feature. You can draw multi-line and modify the multi-line style in CWCAD. You can use draw commands to draw different shapes in CWCAD. For example, polyline, arc circle, ellipse, point, recloud, and spyline. You can use vision command to close 2D objects with physical properties so that you can perform pooling operation on region or use mesh port to check its physical properties. You can create wet out object with wet out command too. Let's try some of these commands in CWCAD. First, let's find the draw commands. We can find draw commands for draw on the menu. Here are different draw commands, or for home tab on the ribbon. And for most of the draw commands, we can use shortcut key to execute the commands. For example, input L, we can draw a line. Input PL, we can draw a polyline. Input A for arc. Input C for a circle. For some commands, there are branch commands. To activate the branch commands, 
you can input the key letter for that command. For example, input REC for rectangle. Then we can input S for square. So we can activate the branch command of rectangle to draw a square. We can input shortcut key REG for region to close to the objects with physical properties so that we can perform union on the boolean to union these two objects. With shortcut key white out, we can create a shape to white out specified area. We can input shortcut key ML to draw multi-line. Input shortcut key MLSTYLE to open multi-line style. Here we can create new multi-line style or modify and delete existing multi-line style. Click new to create new multi-line style. Enter a name for this multi-line style and choose an existing style from the drop-down menu to start with. In the next window, we can set up the caps for the multi-line and we can add more lines in the multi-line or delete the line and we can adjust the offsets for the lines to fit our needs. Click OK after finish. We can see the preview from the below window. Select the new style and click Set Current. After close the window, we can start draw the multi-line with the new style. Double click the multi-line can add the multi-line. Select a tool from below, then we can choose the multi-line we want to add. You can use hatch or gradient to fill selected closed line objects with solid or pattern. Let's apply hatch in ZWCAD. We can input shortcut key H for hatch. We can select the pattern from the drop down menu or double click the sample to select pattern in hatch pattern palette. We can choose a color for the hatch and specify the angle and scale in the drop down menu. We can choose to specify the internal points of the closed object so that CWCAD will identify the boundary or we can identify the boundary by selecting objects. Check whether to detect Iceland. If Iceland detection is checked, CWCAD will create an Iceland hatch. Uncheck this option will ignore the Iceland and hatch all the internal space. Similar to the hatch, you can fill color to close objects with gradient. You can switch to gradient from the tabs in hatch or input shortcut key GA to open gradient. You can select one color or two colors. Select two colors, for example, blue and purple. Then choose a pattern from options provided below. Then define object boundaries similar to the hatch. Click OK to apply. Now we have finished basic entities creation. Thank you for watching.